moving in. I'd like some time to talk. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these... Uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Oh, and a quick word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Keep your distance. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more? Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. for 
Hello? Go ahead. I'm listening. We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Master. Friend. I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Shah's blessings upon you. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. Speak. Assume nothing. Have a lot on my mind. And, well... In it. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother, forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. 
Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate... Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this... I hope my time will yet come. Dark Justiciers are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Too fine a point on it. A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion. Light on my feet. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Today, the same as you, a humble supplicant, come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it, to bargain. A more innocent name than some I could call her. But it is what she is that ought to concern you. Her kind have hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. Whatever's easiest to lose, and the hardest to do without. But the thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to draw him out, I'll pay whatever she asks. Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. And we've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again. Is he known to you? I see. Your loyalty is admirable, but misplaced. His kind have charm beyond our mortal means to resist. 
I can show you who he truly is, if you will just tell me where to find him. As you say, then I must redouble my efforts and pray my delay costs no more lives. To stand by one's friend in the face of danger. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. Go ahead. The lady of the house awaits. Wondering about fetid smell assaults your nostrils. The warm rush of power. If not over, then through. Let me burp my magic. Action, not reaction. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. Another bard who thinks humor is the same as talent. Cute. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. My brothers, you saw them. They stopped by to pass on their congratulations. Said they'll be waiting for you at home. Uh, oh. But why didn't they come in to see me? All they left was a message, which I passed on, didn't I? Don't be stressing. And you, hush. Don't be upsetting the girl with such things. You cheeky thing. Sutton Farm, north of Baldur's Gate. Check if you like. But I think you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? I told you that girl is none of your business. Keep that hole under your nose shut. Must you stick out your neck for every dimwit in distress? I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. To wait. I can't talk right now. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this. Interesting.
focused. Where do I go from here? Survival is all that matters. Time to strike. Can't give up. Not now. <laughs> what fools these mortals be. Bye bye, lovelies. Oh, enjoy my well water. Got to focus. Blood comes easy these days. Death is but a word away. See their chances. Very well.
important is ever easy. Cutting to the chase. <laughs> Still on my feet. No hesitation. Light on my feet. No choice but to keep going. Another step forward. Step carefully. There's a trap. from Waterdeep.
My faith protects me. Well, it ends not as bad as it could have. Moving ahead. Anything of use? <laughs> Ah, glad you've a moment for me. My, um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. We've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. You'll just give me what I need.
Thank you. Magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Don't look. Don't. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. You feel crushing waves of fear. Images flash. A man cower. His cries. She cackled. Flee. You feel it cry. Scene appears in your mind. Weapons scream. You let them in. You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. A thief who tried to steal don't from Aunt Look. Now the good don't guards my home. My gentle don't. Lauren. Please. He wished to know what Please. was to come. There's magic at work, some type of spell, an illusion. Me, dead, dead, flesh rotten, bone shining. Lies, lies, I see it, see truth, see death, all future. Always asked, never good, never see, never. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, 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 please. Ah, no, stop. Trick, 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 the monster, monster. For mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flayer. No, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> no intention of letting that happen. Away! Away! You feel the barest hint of life from within the door. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee, 
as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you. Away! Away! Don't look. Don't! Stop! Ready. Don't look. Don't! One false move. my breath. Mistra. Auntie, be kind. Yes, Auntie. I'll break their pretty little bones.
make me hurt them. I won't hurt them. position.
to strike. Sometimes the only way out is through. May the gods take you first. Brief respite. Ready for you. Eager for battle. Take heed. I see a trap. Ah! All right, what now? With haste. Step carefully. There's a trap. This place is trapped. Oh, <laughs> 
Minster's not around, so it might as well. To new horizons. Ready and willing. Magic touch. Breeds madness. <laughs> no one stopped me yet. Blackets will be done. I'll give up now. Oh, action, not reaction. Let's move. Never wanted the easy path. My faith will guide me. No one back home will ever believe this. step forward there in the cage above all should have worn better boots like it's will be done don't want to think about why my eye is itching all of you my patience wanes I'm ready. Ready. 
Whatever it takes. I know what to do. Blood comes easy these days. No hesitation. mortals be. Another fight. Let's go. Fury, I am death. The Lance board is set. Wait! Oh, wait just a tick! Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this, hmm? I have something you want. She's worthless to you. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter? Done. Anything is possible. 
Just let me keep the girl and her babe. Not only would this be a vile deal, it would be folly to trust the hag's gifts. It's your choice, sweetness. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal? What about my husband? What happens to him? Deal's off, you dumb cow. And you've her to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Bollocks to luck. It's only the deal that counts. Bye-bye, Petal. Time to pack it in for the day, I think. Never wanted the easy path. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! I was fine! She wouldn't have killed me. I had something she wanted. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic, even. More than I could have done. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. I need to find a way forward. Curse to put my hands on everything. of use. Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> what? 
You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? But this isn't what she promised! I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this! of the dark. I'll do it. I'll take him. I promised him I'd fix this. And I'm gonna. Maybe... Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. I'll... I'll figure something out. Come on, love. Let's... Let's go. Using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Let us be mindful in the future, at least. There are few fair bargains. <laughs> in my heart. So, Gail just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gail takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. What? Who? What happened? A girl? What are those vagabonds? Why would they... Cazador? <laughs> of course he'd send a girl to hunt me down. Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. First, they make excellent monster hunters, so find a vampire spawn sounds perfectly reasonable to them. Second, they're the reason I'm like this in the first place. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Maybe he was just drawn to the smell of blood. The point is, I have history with these barbarians. Cazador's sending a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. 
<laughs> safe? You think I'm safe? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. Gail slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. How much farther can I go? It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins or anything like that. Something about you.
Ariel is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. To begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. I know tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Breathe deep and move. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... ...they're lost to me right now. Hm. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. Another moment won't kill them, I suppose. Well, it might, but let's take that risk. Thank you for last night. 
Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. 